Okay, this question is a great illustration of what we do with pKa values and how understanding mechanisms of reactions allows us to predict products with um, some simplicity. So the reaction that we're going to look at is hydrochloric acid, very strong acid, protonates most anything, and methanol, which in this class we think of as being a weak acid, pK about 16. So in this pair, the one that's more acidic is certainly the hydrochloric acid. So we label this one the acid and give its pK equals minus 7. So this is going to give up its proton to something that can accept it. So that's going to make this the base. And the way mechanisms go for acid-base reactions is almost always the base has a lone pair of electrons which is going to go and pluck the acidic hydrogen off of the HCl. And then this bonding pair of electrons is going to turn into a lone pair. So the arrow pushing shows the mechanism that this pair of electrons, it isn't going anywhere, but it's going to pluck this hydrogen off of the HCl. So really the HCl goes over and smacks into this. The H stays here and the Cl leaves with the electrons. So this arrow here indicates that this bonding pair of electrons turns into a lone pair on the chlorine. And we can draw equilibrium arrows to say, is this going to go forwards, backwards, some balance of the two we don't know. But if we go ahead and follow the mechanism, the chlorine from hydrogen chloride turns into a chloride as it takes the electrons and loses the H+. And then as the H plus gets attached to the methanol, we end up with a cation, right? Because if you add a plus to a neutral, you're going to get a plus. So the chloride and this protonated methanol are our products. And this should look a lot like hydronium. So we're going to say the pK of this is about minus 2. And although this is very, very, very strong acid and it's going to protonate most anything, it's not going to protonate the chloride because the pK of hydrochloric acid was minus 7. So in this comparison, very strong acid, even stronger acid, the pK is minus 2 is going to be the more stable and less acidic. And so when you're comparing the acid to the conjugate acid and their pKa's, whichever is the higher pKa is going to be the less acidic and the more stable, and that's what's going to be favored. So this reaction is going to be product favored because CH3OH2 plus is a weaker acid than HCl, and the pKa values back that up. So a little two arrow, one step mechanism to transfer the proton from the acid to the base, and then we make sure we have the charges listed in the Lewis structures of the products, evaluate the pKa's, and we can see that this is product favored. So again, another very nice, simple example of acid-base chemistry, using a mechanism to predict the products, using pKa's to predict the course of the reaction.